in today's video, I'm going to be redrawing something from five years ago. So this drawing is apparently the first thing I ever drew in Paint Tool Sci. I know this because that's what the caption was when I uploaded it to DeviantArt. Today's drawing, however, is going to be drawn in GIMP or G-I-M-P because it's a free program, it works fairly well, and I'm not made of money. So I don't remember the initial reasoning for this drawing. 2014, I assume I was deep into my supernatural and World of Warcraft obsession, hence the demon eyes mixed with elf ears. The name of the file is Micah, which I looked up is like a religious name, which doesn't really make much sense with being being a demon. I think maybe I was being like obnoxious or trying to be funny or edgy or not 100% sure what I was trying to do, but that's the name that it's got, so that's the name I'm going with. I approached this redraw in like a kind of a different way than I've done like digital ones because I'm not very well trained with digital drawings, I'm better trained with traditional drawing. So instead of just completely copying what I'd previously done, I decided what I'd instead try and do is to take the like essence of the drawing or what I think I was intending the drawing to be, like the emotion or the personality of the character and use the skills I've now gained over five years to actually like show that. Because of the grin she's got, I decide to give her like a cheesy greaser style, so the leather jacket and the finger guns. Think Sandy after she got her makeover. I wanted to be as faithful as possible to the original drawing when it came to the colour palette. I only changed a few things and that's more in terms of what I think I was trying to go for five years ago versus now I want to try and change that and you know make it like I actually wanted it to be. So her skin is like a normal skin colour like what I have which is Caucasian but I've purposely desaturated it a little bit so that she's got this like otherworldly creature aesthetic to her. I struggled a little bit with creating shadows and highlights on the skin. I think this is just because I'm so used to traditional drawing, especially with alcohol markers. They seem to just blend naturally even when you're not trying to blend them. Whereas you obviously don't get that with digital art, you really have to define each section of the shading and colour it in yourself. It's really funny for me looking back at that old digital drawing because I know exactly what I was going for. Like I was trying to show like the highlights and the low lights of her hair but I just couldn't seem to get it and it honestly just took me improving traditionally to be able to do the same effect but digitally. I've put off drawing anything digitally because I was just so worried that I'd end up with the same result I did five years ago not realising that the skills I've gained in traditional drawing has actually transferred over. For her jacket, I was thinking I might change it to like a coloured leather jacket, but I decided on keeping it black because her hair was is so bright and I knew the top I wanted to have like really bright as well. So it's better to have a muted jacket or a dark jacket because then the colour actually pops like a lot better.
I ummed and ahed for quite a while on the colour of the top, but I ended up settling on purple because I really think that purple and turquoise just like work really well together. I'm not sure if it's because turquoise is like a colder colour and purple's a warmer colour, but for some reason they just really like fit and I really like the aesthetic of them when combined. I really wanted the necklace and her earring to stand out from the rest of what she was wearing. I really wanted to have this mystical aura around it so I went with a really like lime green colour and it really worked quite nicely actually, I really like the effect that it has. As you may have noticed, she's got a lot less teeth than the original drawing. And this because I wanted to make her look less scary and more just a creature from a different world. But I kept her lipstick the same colour because I thought it was a really fun colour. I just added more shading and more light areas to it to make it a bit more dynamic than it was before. Her eyes turned out to be the biggest issue I had bringing this drawing from 2014 into 2019 with the skills I've now got because in the original drawing her eyes are very dark, very soulless, very scary but now I want her to be more of just a creature that we don't quite understand but once you get to know her you'd realise she's fun and just like any other person. So I still kept them dark, I just made sure that they weren't all dark around it, it's more just like this is her eye colour, it's a bit unnerving at first but it's actually perfectly normal. I deliberated for a little while on how to do the background. I originally decided I'd do like light around her and then dark around everywhere else, like a reverse of what it was five years ago. But then I decided it would be better to just have a solid colour as the background and then outline her in white so she stands out and it makes the image a lot crisper and cleaner than just having a, another colour around her. All in all, I'm extremely happy with the way this turned out. Like, I couldn't have asked for anything better. At the end, when I was comparing what I'd done to the drawing from five years ago, I actually cried. I brought my boyfriend and I started crying because I was just so happy because every time I seem to have attempted digital art, it's just never come out the way I wanted. The last time I drew digitally was about five months ago and it was okay. It wasn't a bad drawing, but it wasn't what I was trying to do. And I realised I was trying to do what I thought thought I should do versus what my style actually is. So today I just put in an audio book and I just drew and four hours just flew by. It was so much fun. I'm definitely going to try redrawing my old digital art again because I want to see how I've improved with those. As always, if you liked that video, give it a like. If you really liked it, subscribe and I will see you in the next one.